When the Word was with God, and the Word was God, He was with God in the beginning. were created through him and apart from him not one thing was created that has been created in him was life and that life was the light of men that light shines in the darkness and yet the darkness did not overcome it
Merry Christmas. Thank you for being here at First Baptist Hendersonville. This Saturday afternoon, the rain has parted and the people have come. My goodness, thank you for being here. As crowded as it is today, you will not even begin to imagine how crowded it will be tomorrow night. So you are the wise ones today. Not just the magi who you'll see later, but the wise men and women are in front of me right now. I'm Chasen Ferris. I'm the Minister of Music and Worship here at First Baptist. And I want to introduce some of the cast to you. You've already heard and seen some. This is our incredible orchestra directed by Ken Mace. Beautiful job as always. Our incredible, incredible worship choir here in the loft. They are outstanding. I'll introduce some of the other cast as they come in to the program today. This is not all the choirs you're going to see. We have two more choirs to come later this afternoon. We're glad that you're here with us today, and we have a special guest here with us as well I want to recognize. Uh, thank you, Gigi Graham, for being here with us with friends and family. We are so appreciative of the ministry impact you have made for eternity and your support of the local church. Give a First Baptist welcome to Gigi, and give yourselves a welcome as well. Because I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The reason the words are on the screen is we don't do concerts here at First Baptist. We have worship services. This is not a place to sit and listen. This is a place to sing because King Jesus is worthy of our praise this Christmas season. So when you see the words to new songs and songs you know, we invite you to sing with us. This next song is a new one, but it proclaims what our world needs right now. This is a dark place, is it not? This world seems to be getting darker, but I have good news for you. Jesus Christ proclaims from his mouth, I am the light of the world.
We have hoped, we have waited. Now the star has appeared in the night. A baby cries, our God is here. Praise the King, the Lord of hosts. He shall reign forevermore. Long awaited, Christ our Savior. Hallelujah, this is Christmas. This is Christmas. Strength of armies, heaven's glory in a child. His kingdom is coming and it burns through the night with songs of the angels now filling the sky. Our hope has arrived. Our hope has arrived. The darkness starts running at the break of his light. His kingdom is coming and it burns through the night with songs of the angels now filling the sky. Our hope has Thank you. As Ken Mace comes uh, forward for our next piece with the orchestra, that was Christy Korn and our choir and orchestra singing, This is Christmas. This is Christmas. Jesus is Christmas. And this is one of my favorite carols, Away in a Manger.
Thank you, Ken. Thank you, orchestra. This is Christmas. God is with us. Are you in need of hope today? I have good news. God is with us. Are you lonely today? I have good news. God is with us. Are you afraid? Do you need help making a decision? Is life just beating you down this December? I have great news. God is with us. You are not alone. God is with you. The Son of God, the Saving One, came down to us. Hope arrived into a world in need. Emmanuel, the perfect Lamb, poured out for us. Now in our lives, He is the Prince of Peace. From the glory of his throne to this birth in a manger, our God with us, our God with us. From the hills of Bethlehem to the whole of creation, our God with us, our God with us. Inquire into the dark, into the night.
Thank you. Let's all stand. Join our choir as you stand, and let's sing our version of a great Christmas carol, The First Noel. Let's all sing. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a singing choir. You may be seated. Our worship choir, you can have a seat. I have someone to introduce to the cast. You've seen the worship choir. You've seen and heard the orchestra. Now you get to see and hear the real deal. 
This is our incredible children's choir here at First Baptist, directed so well by Tabitha Weatherington and Laura Hendricks. As they are coming in to get in place, let's give a great First Baptist welcome to our children's choir. They are going to sing a carol for us, just them, and then they're going to join the rest of the cast and some others I'll introduce on our next song together. So let's listen and worship with our children now. Thank you, children. Thank you, children. I have three more to introduce for our next song. We have some of our student choir young ladies. I'm going to introduce them. Let's see. Mary Frisbee is here with her mic. Leah Kilby. And then Abigail Mertens. And you come up here with me. These students are going to join the children and our adults on our next song. And it is exactly what Christmas is, Emmanuel, God with us. Go tell it on the mountain Born on this day, our Savior Christ the Lord. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, that we can be forgiven the weight of all our 
since he came to bear. Thank you, ladies. Let's give another hand to our wonderful children's choir, to Miss Laura Hendricks and Miss Tabitha Weatherington, and their wonderful direction. I'm glad there's numbers on these mics, Lee. And I forgot to mention probably the most important part of this cast. That booth back there, Lee, Mike, Connie, Jeff, Thomas, you guys are awesome. We could not do what we do without you. You saw a little glimpse with my young ladies here from our student choir. They, were, uh, they don't normally walk around dressed as angels, but they are about to join the rest of our student choir and do something we try to do every other year here at First Baptist. We want to build a living nativity scene for you as we begin this Christmas season. This next song by our choir and orchestra is where our students will set the scene. And we invite you to worship with us as we prepare our hearts to see uh, the Christmas story before our eyes. After that, we'll sing one of my favorite carols together. O oh, come all ye faithful.
this with us. Oh, come let us adore Him. Oh, come let us adore Him. Oh, come let us adore Him. In Christ the Lord. Sing that again. You may be seated. Pastor Justin, your mission, if you choose to accept it, find a spot on this platform. Well, good evening. I hope tonight has been as much of a blessing to you as it's been. This is round two for me, and it is just as great the second time. I pray that it's been a way to you to understand what it is that we truly celebrate this Christmas season. To tell you about that, let me start with a story that I recently heard. It was about a young lady named Susie who went and did summer missions in Newark, New Jersey. And while she was there, she did a lot of work with children. She did backyard Bible clubs, spent the whole summer in that city. And if you've ever done that before, what you'll find is sometimes you'll have a a child that just takes to you and, and you take to them. Well, this one little boy took to Susie, and every single day she look, he looked forward to seeing her. They played together. He would tell, she would tell him about Jesus. Well, the end of the summer came about, and she knew that she had to leave. And so the night before she left, she went to that little boy's house. She walked in the door, and as soon as that little boy saw her, he ran up to her and threw his arms around her. And he, says, I, he said, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. And she said, I'm so sorry, but you need to know this. God doesn't leave you. God is always here with you. And the little boy said, I know that, but I wish he would just put skin on so I could see him. (laughs) Yeah. You see, what we celebrate this Christmas season is that God put skin on. You see, every other religion in this world says, try as hard as you possibly can, obey these rules, do these good things, and then maybe you can get yourself good enough to be with God. What the Bible tells us is that you'll never be good enough It doesn't matter how many good things you do, you will never get to God. But the good news is is that God loved us enough that he came here for us. You see, God sent his son Jesus to this earth. And that son Jesus, he lived the perfect life that you and I needed to live. And then he went to the cross and died the death that you and I deserve. And then three days later, God resurrected him from the dead. And because that is true, it means that every single one of us can have life today. You see, Christmas is so much more than presents, and those are great. Christmas is about the greatest present we've ever been given, and that is Jesus Christ. 
And if you're here today and you have never trusted in Jesus, you are trying to do everything you can in this life to make yourself good, can I ask you today, turn your eyes and see your Savior. See the one who stepped out of heaven for you. Look at him, and the Bible says when you look at him, you live. Romans tells us that all you have to do is two simple things. Confess with your mouth. Confess with your mouth that he is Lord. And then believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you can be saved. If that's you today and you need Jesus, I'm going to ask for you to do that. Confess your need of him and then trust in him as your savior. If that's what's something that you want to do today, I want to ask that you would come up and talk to me personally. Because I would love to tell you more about what it means to follow Jesus. And then we would love for you to get connected right here at First Baptist Hendersonville and be a part of our church where we can help you follow Jesus. Can we pray together? Oh God, we love you so much. We thank you for your son, Jesus. That he laid down his life for us. That 2,000 years ago, he stepped out of heaven and came to this earth. Because we, he knew that there was no way we'd get to him. Father, let us to remember that during this time. And for someone in here who was lost, who was searching for meaning, for purpose, for life. God, I pray that they would turn to you. They would, they would confess with their mouth their need of you. And they would believe in you as the savior of the world. Because the promise is not that you can be saved, but that you will. We love you. It's in your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Justin. Just before we sing and play our finale, one more big thank you from you to this incredible choir, orchestra, student choir, children's choir, tech staff, music staff. Aren't they incredible? Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to end just like we've been doing. We're just going to keep singing. And I can think of no better carol to sing and hymn to sing to close than joy to the world. The Lord is come. And we're going to sing this with one of my favorite hymns. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Let's stand, join the cast, and let's sing together. Joy to the world. All together. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing.
Christmas. You are dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.